Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the chicken state. So you'll need two plugins to get this uh, done, but let us uh, let me show you what we're going to do and then I'll show you how to do it. So we're trying to get into this cave here, but we have to beat the chicken king first. Here we have the Chicken King, and he's got Polymorph Chicken. And when he uses this spell, it turns you into a chicken. And uh, this uh, chicken state is just like uh, paralysis. You can't do anything when you're a chicken except walk around and balk. But it's a toggleable state. So if he targets you twice with the chicken state, you turn back into normal and it takes the paral paralysis off. You can see Yakuto switched back and his ATV went back on, you saw that. So that worked out pretty quick. That was a little bit faster than uh, I thought it was going to take. I was thinking about making it like target everybody, but and you can see it slid Tail Razor back. Cool. That worked out great. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So you're going to need two plugins to do this. You're going to need um, Rex's, uh, Rexar's, what's it called? Rexall, uh, Rexall's animated enemies plugin, uh, the animated SV enemies, enemies, and you're gonna need uh, Hime Works, uh, Hime uh, not equip slot. Uh, where is it at? Uh, the toggleable states one. Here it is. So you're gonna, I'll put a link in the description for both of these plugins. So Hime Works toggleable states and the uh, Rexall's animated SV enemies. Once you have those installed, um, you're going to create a common event. Well, first you're gonna make a state. Uh, and this state is just gonna be remove at the end of battle, call it chicken state or polymorph or whatever you want. Restriction cannot move. And then in the note tags, you're gonna put brackets and you're gonna type in toggleable state, the space between here. And that's it. Um, after you've got that state created, you're gonna go to your common events and you're gonna make a common event uh, conditional one common event will contain all of the conditional branches you only need one small conditional branch for each actor you have I have a ton of actors so uh, I've got that's why it looks like there's a lot here but it's really simple uh, you're gonna right click insert new conditional branch and you're gonna select uh, actor on tab 2 select the actor you want and then select state and then select the chicken state that we just created then you're gonna select create an else branch and then you're gonna hit OK and then um, inside of that, you're on the first uh, if statement, you're going to say uh, insert a new thing, right click insert new, and you're going to change actor images, and you're going to select that, uh, the first actor that you selected, and then you're going to change the SV battler to this chicken battler. And I'm going to put uh, a link in the description where you can get this chicken battler, and this chicken battler is uh, from, I want to get your name. I'm going to put a link in the description for for this SV Battler. It's uh, uh, Irufwa. Irufwa. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. But a uh, really cool Battler. Um, make sure if you put it in your game that you credit them at the end or something. Um, but I'll put a, a link to the Twitter page where you can follow them and, and get that really cool Battler to make the chicken state. Um, so after, uh, after you've done that, it's real easy to, to do this for all your characters. You're basically going to copy it. And I purposely left the last one of my characters undone so that I could show you make how I'm making it. And then you go to the bottom and you just paste what you copied. And you just right click on the conditional branch and just change the name. So I didn't finish, I did all of these but I didn't finish the Tara. So we'll click the Tara. All you have to do is hit OK. And then on this one, uh, you just edit this, change actor images, select the, the new character, change the battler to the chicken battler, hit OK, and then on this one, just change the battler to the standard for that character. And that's it. So make it one time and then copy, paste, change a few things. It doesn't take that much work at all, but now we have to make the skill. So we're going to go to our skills tab and then we're going to put in chicken or polymorph or whatever. If you can make like a, this is based off of the toad effect or and also the mini effect in, in the Final Fantasy series. Um, where if, or uh, I think there's another one too. Is it Imp? I think it's the Imp one, where if you get casted, uh, if this, this is casted on you, it like makes you where you can't do certain things. In this case, for Chicken, it's, it's paralysis. 
Uh, but if you get if it's casted on you a second time, it removes this the state uh, entirely. That's uh, the t the toggleable effects in, in action. So give it a name, an icon, a description. Set it to whatever skill type you want. Cost is up to you. Scope is actually up to you as well. Battle screen is what you're gonna have to do for this, unless you design uh, a face set and also the walking animations. Then you can do menu screen. Um, all of this other stuff is up to you. Animations completely up to you. Um, the only thing you really have to do is add the state first so we're gonna right click insert uh, new or edit and then go to state and add that chicken state that we created at the beginning of this video and then underneath that I think that it does matter which order these are in uh, you're gonna add the common event underneath that on tab 4 on the other the common event add that chicken uh, polymorph chicken common event that we created and that's it and then you have a toggleable chicken state uh, thank you guys for watching um, this one was for you Jaime um, if you guys like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate all of you. The, the amount of support you guys are giving me is amazing. So continue to do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll work together in RPG Maker Envy. So thank you guys for watching so much, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.